guys, welcome to another episode with Garden Deeds. In today's video, I'm going to be talking about hyposies, which is also more commonly known as the polka dot plant. I have hyposies growing in pots of their own as well as in the garden bed amongst other plants but I also put them in pots with another plant that has the same light and water requirements such as this Chinese evergreen which is also known as a silver queen. Yeah you can see I contrasted the pink hypose nicely with the Chinese evergreen as the stems are quite bare at the bottom so it gives it a nice colour around the base. So guys, it's been two weeks since I planted these hyposies. They're looking really beautiful. Hyposies are said to have freckles on the leaves and you can see why. Um, a nice thing about them is the more sunlight they get, the more colour is brought out, or the less sunlight they get, the more the green fills out the leaf. This little one that I planted in the smallest pot has been sitting on a windowsill that doesn't get direct sunlight, but it is a bright windowsill. However, I can see that it's stretched between the nodes of the leaves. So I'm going to be giving it a little trim. When the plant is small like this, you could use your fingernail just to trim off the stem, or you could use a good pair of scissors or secateurs. So here you can see there's new leaf growth by each of the bigger leaves. And if I left it, it would look okay but I would like the plant to be more rounded instead of stretching up. So just pinch or cut above the last node that you want to leave on the plant. Okay, so now trim off the leaves, even these small little leaves which I really don't want to, but you want to only leave about two to three leaves so that the plant can focus on sending out roots instead of trying to send out nutrition to the rest of the leaves. You know, that aren't really necessary at the moment. Just take them off and then the best thing to do would be to trim this piece off right at the node and then this can be used as a cutting. I moved the single one onto this windowsill which is much brighter as I think it wasn't getting adequate light where it was as the leaves were losing their colour. And next to it I have aloe vera which is doing well getting afternoon sun so I think the hyposi will be happy. And I thought I would show that this one is kind of stretching and trying to face towards the light or stretching towards the light. The leaves are also curling which could either be too much light or too little light and of course in this case it is too little and you can see it's also losing its vibrant colour. It's becoming more lighter green instead of having pink and pale spots. And then this one next to my trio star is looking the best being outdoors under shade cloth but getting late afternoon sun you can see it's kept its colors and it's been flowering a lot it said that you should trim off the flowers the same as with the coleus so that the plant can fill out but i think the flowers are too cute i water mine about every second to third day given the temperatures outdoors here at the moment are in the high 20s that's celsius which is roughly 80 degrees Fahrenheit.
Here I just put the three that I've shown in this video next to each other so you can see the difference between getting the best light on the left and in the middle was the one that wasn't getting direct sunlight at all and the one in the small pot is staying quite miniature because it doesn't have much root space. I think it's quite cute in there especially for on a windowsill. These plants do enjoy getting watered and this also determines the amount of colour that's brought out in the leaves. The more water they get, the more colourful they are, the same as the amount of sunlight that they get. So there's two factors determining the colours that are brought out on the plant. Just try not to overwater the plant. You can always check by sticking your finger in the soil and check that about 25 to maybe 50% of the soil is dry and then give it a thorough watering. I hope you enjoyed this video and please like and subscribe to see more videos like this. See you in the next video.